Hello everybody, here's a short notebook on term structure and how to set and modify their uh, reference dates. So, as usual, I'll start with a bit of setup, I'll import the quantitative module and I'll set an evaluation date, it's October the 3rd of uh, 2014. You might want to note that uh, since we are going to move it later. So, how do we specify the reference date of a term structure? That is in well in broad strikes, uh, it's not always precisely like this. But in broad strikes, uh, the date at which the structure begins, we have two possibilities. We can say uh, that the reference structure, uh, the reference date, sorry, is at a given offset from the current evaluation date, and I'll do it here by building a, a bootstrapping a curve over a few swaps. The swaps. Uh, per se are not that important, just gloss over this. The point is when I specify the, the, the curve and just say that it is zero dates after the evolution date, well, according to the target calendar, that is, it is at the current reference date. And I'm going to build this curve. A second possibility is to specify the reference date directly so here I'm kind of, uh, uh, well, no, I'm not, not cheating, it's just uh, I'm taking a shortcut. I'm taking the dates and the forward rates, which will be coming out from this curve at the, the dates at which this swaps end, so that the two curves have the same nodes. So I'm going to take this set of dates and raise the first one is the reference date, it's today, October the 3rd. And with these two sets, I'm going to build a forward curve. Now, both curves are defined over the same range of date. I can ask them for the reference date, which is where the curve begins, the earliest possible date at which you can ask information of the curve, and the max date, which is the latest possible date for which I have information, both curves give me the same range, so October the 3rd to October the 8th, 15 years later, and they also return the same rates whether we ask for a given time, so this is five years or so from now, from now. that's mm, the, the two rates, the two identical rates which are returned, and of course we can also ask with a date, this is the date that gives me the same rate because, well, using the, the 30 for 60 day counter, this is not exactly 5 years, it's a bit less. Anyway, alright, we can also plot the whole thing if we import some graphic module. Here it is. So what happens if we now change the evolution date? As you remember, we set the first curve so that it's an offset, which is in this case a null offset, but still an offset over the, uh, the evolution date. The second curve had a fixed, evolution, uh, fixed reference date. So what we do now is we move the evolution date a couple of weeks back. What happens is the first curve changes its uh, definition range and the second doesn't. So the first curve is now based on September the 19th, the second is still based on October the 3rd. The rates have changed too, well, uh, if we look at them in the right way, meaning if we ask uh, for uh, the five years uh, rate, we're still going to get the same one because what happened to the first curve is a rigid translation. So this is asking the, the rate at five years after September 19th. This is five years after October the 3rd. So being just a translation, the two rates are still going to be the same. If we ask for rates at a given date though, now they are going to change. For the second one, the rate is, is still the same. For the first one, the rate changes because now it doesn't correspond to five years any longer. It's a bit uh, uh, more.
because we moved the evaluation, the evaluation dates back. Finally, let's also look at what happens to uh, instruments or other objects that might be uh, observing the structures. So, to, instead of uh, making two instruments, I'll uh, just make two observers uh, in Python. So it's, it's uh, possible to do this from the, the, the Quantlib Python model, we can just define a function and initialize an observer with the function which will be called every time the observer gets a notification. So I'll just make two observers, each one will output uh, this line saying which, notify, which observer printed it and uh, let's see if they work correctly. So I'll just take three simple quotes as observables. I'm going to register the first observer with the first quote, the second observer with the second quote and both observers with the third quote. So of course what happens when I change the values of the quotes is uh, when I change the first one the first observer gets notified and outputs the, the relevant message. When I change the value to the second, the second observer is notified. When I change the value to the third quote, both observers get notified while well, the order is not important. What happens now when we connect them to the two curves? So I connect the first observer to the first curve so the one with the moving reference date, the second observer with the second curve, the one with the fixed reference date, and uh, I'll just change the evaluation date again, I'll just put it forward a few days, and this is what happens. As you see, the moving curve was modified and sent a notification. The second curve has a fixed reference date, so changing the evaluation date has no effect and uh, so it didn't send a notification to its corresponding observer. Okay, this is all for this notebook. Thank you again for watching and uh, until next time. Bye.